Kia ora bros and girls, welcome back to the channel. We're back with Variant 3 Polar Opposites Colossus. Uh, and this guy's got enhanced armor up, he's got a couple of nodes that are really annoying. Hit me I dare you means he, he gets a chit and charge every time he, uh, you hit him. And at 10 that converts into one armor up. Uh, and then Thorns means that uh, every time he's got an armor up and you make contact with him, you're going to take a bleed damage bleed damage uh, for 50% of his direct damage over 5 seconds so basically if you bring someone who's, who is not bleed immune you're dead um, so this is the revamped Colossus and he's actually got the new animations and he's also uh, really 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 tank you know he's uh, he's also immune to a whole bunch of stuff he's immune to cold snap he's immune to bleed um, he's got like I think 3 or 4 different kind of immunities and he's also immune to armor break and armor shatter unless you come in with a tech champ all right so unless you you bring uh, I, I was gonna say Arcus vision but actually he's not even a tech champ he's a cosmic um, so basically what that means is this is gonna be a really really long fight because he's very very tank he's gonna not take a lot he's not gonna take a lot of physical damage so kind of your options are bring someone who's bleed immune and who can do damage over time or who can do energy damage or uh, bring someone who can armor break him and is a tech. So I, f I thought Warlock was going to be the best choice because obviously he's got the armor break on the SP2 and then maybe if I can eventually wear down a lot of his armor breaks then I can actually get in and do some damage to him. Uh, but damage over time is probably going to be uh, ideal. I think if... There's a, there's a lot of champs obviously I don't have but I'm thinking... Guillotine 2099, for example, would rampage all over him because she would degen every time she would do a crit, and that degen damage would um, add a lot of pain over time. And she's uh, and she's double immune. Um, Sentinels incinerate would work absolutely great if I had like a five star Sentinel. I don't. I'm just trying to think from the text. Mysterio would probably work pretty well because, as far as I know, I don't think Colossus is poison immune. Um, so that would also work. Um, thing might work if you synergize him with uh, Human Torch in terms of like spamming the SP1 and incinerating this guy. Um, that would also work. Obviously, because he's so tanky, because the fight is so long, you lose concentration. And um, I died here halfway through. Also, I didn't do. Uh, all of these chapters at the same time so it was, it was I, it took quite a gap between every run and so every time i met him it was like i met him for the first time because i completely forgot what he was like what his abilities were what his nose were um and so on so i i think i do finish it off with thing here but it's still it's still a very very long fight and i think ideally you want to get someone who is both double immune and uh, can do damage over time another option actually now that i think about it that would be fantastic against this guy is nebula you have a stack nebula like a six star version or for some reason you've r5 your nebula um then i think you can do the trick where you build 20 electrostatic charges uh, b build up to your sp2 and then drop the shock on him unleash the sp2 uh, and that should do a lot of first of all energy damage it should bypass his armor uh, and anyway it does a lot of damage as it is and it does damage over time so i think that's probably she's probably going to be the best option against this one and i might actually trial it when i get a little bit of free energy um i might come in here and give it a test try and uh, if it works i'll upload that video so you can watch it but i think that would probably be the best the best option or just be really really good with warlock uh, if you have him uh, i could have probably actually just kept launching sp1s because um, this guy doesn't have any enhanced power gain so and his uh, specials are easy to evade and the shock damage would do damage over time so that's probably another way to do it but yeah basically you, you, you want to get a tech champ who can armor break uh, Yondu might be another one that might be really good because he can armor break this guy or someone who can do damage over time so um, I, I used warlock and thing and most often I had to use one or two revives and as you can see I'm stacked here I'm doing plus 700% um, damage and I'm still struggling because as you can see, like as the fight goes on, he's got he had 40 charges just before, he's got 34 charges, now he's got 30 armor up charges. So he doesn't take a lot of damage unless you're hitting him with a crit. Um, so just be wary of that. Ghost could probably um, 
well, actually, Ghost can't because she she can't deal with the with the bleed. So, um, so yeah, that, those are kind of my thoughts, kind of my options. But just beware, this guy is very very tanky. So you're definitely definitely gonna need the revive uh, unless you play really 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 well and you concentrate really really well. So hopefully this kind of showed you a little bit of the difficulties of this guy um, and hopefully it helps you out um, if it did you know do like subscribe and stay tuned because the the next video will be about kang and what options um you can take against him all right kakiteano bros and girls